going on you guys I'm gonna be showing you an alternative to Windows XP when Windows XP loses its support and as you see I got it booted up I'm gonna go ahead and log in, log in and tell you more about this operating system and this operating system is supported until 2019 and it can run anything that Windows XP can run because it's based on Windows XP some of you may already knew, know about this and I'm going to get in more details once we um, boot it up you can tell it already has the same user interface and sound and etc from Windows XP I need to make some adjustments on the screen resolution and it boots up pretty quick too because there's going to be more details about that yeah I just need to make that much better I have to fix the resolution on the if my virtual machine could cooperate because earlier this virtual machine wasn't cooperating right with my computer so this is like my fourth attempt of making this video and it does say Windows XP on the boot screen so yeah it's pretty lightweight too and there's two editions of Windows Embedded 2009 there's POS ready and there's the standard edition and if you're wondering what POS ready means it means point of sale which like certain devices like cash registers and ATMs and etc use that op that type of operating system it's actually like Windows XP embedded which is pretty much common on other devices like Coinstar machines and you get the point and like the coke freestyle fountain and like burger king and you can tell the start menu is all stripped down it's like this when when you first install it by default clear type isn't enabled you know, by default you have to enable that through going through the visual effects button through the display properties if you want to enable clear type comes with Internet Explorer 7 and Windows Media Player 11 but actually I've upgraded from Internet Explorer 7 to Internet Explorer 8 because that's the latest version of Internet Explorer it can support and there's a reason I had to install Internet Explorer 8 is because is to get Windows updates to work properly or the updates to work properly due to some known software bug in Windows XP but you can install different browsers like Google Chrome Mozilla Firefox or Opera and the only way how I got to Windows Update is going by going to tools and Windows Update then setting up Microsoft Update so I'll be able to have it into the start menu but I know some of you don't care about the updates because we're talking about the operating system in the video but it does have all of Windows XP updates you can tell this is all stripped down but I've used a special installer to install the um, games and backgrounds and movie maker and remote assistance onto Windows Embedded 2009 this is movie maker 2.1 working with no problems and, and according to the Winver it reads it as version 5.1 with service pack 3 
it even shows it like that into the system properties. Even Windows, and it even works with XP drivers. So if you have drivers for uh, Windows XP, it'll work with this operating system. But it says Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 Version 2.0. So this must have been the second release of Windows Embedded 2009, but. It recognized the virtual machine's hardware with no problems. You can e even install the um, Luna theme back because it doesn't come with the Luna theme or the Royale or the Zoom theme. I'm going to just demonstrate it real quick. Even Windows Embedded 2009 comes with its own theme, which you can tell is pretty blue. You can even install the Royal Noir. I use a special installer to get all the XP backgrounds too and the themes. And other than that, it even comes with Windows Media Player 11 if you want to play music. I actually did a custom install so it'll work properly in this vir in a, with this virtual machine. So yeah, it functions just like how XP was back in the Service Pack 1 days. And this is actually an evaluation copy I'm running. But you can use Tweak NT to remove the um, time bomb, like some people do with the Windows betas. And the programs that usually come installed default is the calculator, clipboard viewer, notepad, paint, Windows Explorer, and all that good stuff, even WordPad, which I did through a custom install. And it's just like Windows, it's like Windows XP without the junk, like MSN Messenger that's probably like an older version that comes default on XP. And I had to install the additional drivers through the custom install. And there's not hardly much installed because this is just a fresh install of Windows Embedded 2009. And if you want to make changes to components from, that you couldn't do in the um, custom install, all you just got to do is go to add remove component. I just did all the accessories and utilities and additional drivers so it'll work properly in a virtual machine and use a system default paging file system for the memory. And all the networking stuff. I didn't. Ins I did not install the touchscreen keyboard because the touchscreen keyboard would get in the way. We could go on YouTube with no problems, even though YouTube still supports Internet Explorer 8. Like if I pull up my channel, for instance, it'll load up no in no time. And yes, you can even install Office 2003 or Office 2007, but I'm not quite sure about Office 2010. If you want to be my guest, and give it a shot. Let me I'll pause that. It loads my page with no problem. As you see, it does come with the classic login from Windows 2000 enabled by default but you can and it and when you install it it requires you to have a password which you can remove by going to run and typing in control user passwords 2 you want to click OK and you want to go to where it says advanced you want to go to where it says advanced user management and click advanced on there 
go to your users and right click set password and just leave it blank because I wouldn't re I would not recommend using the administrator account for personal use but there's another cool thing I'm going to show you guys you can enable the welcome screen by going to the user accounts but one thing you have to disable offline files let's go to where it says change the way users log on or off and enable use fast user switching and it should take effect if I've done it right okay but yeah like I said you probably gonna have to create a new account and I'm gonna do my name for instance make it a computer administrator and plus you can do all the same things like you normally do in XP and I'm gonna use this little astronaut profile picture let's try logging off Plus, you got your welcome screen back. And another thing, you got clear type fonts will not be enabled by default. You're gonna have to enable that manually because it doesn't automatically. Um, actually, automatic. It's not automatically enabled by default because it's Windows XP let me make a little adjustment right there I'm going to fix this where the fonts won't be all choppy so yeah you may know what I'm talking about and it works good as Windows XP and you can only get this available from an MSDN subscription you can get the evaluation copy from the Microsoft's MSDN you can get the standard edition or the POS ready edition like I said earlier but there's a but you're probably gonna have to get your own product key and for those of you that want to make a full version, you're going to have to use Tweak and T. But, and I don't really recommend installing this in a virtual machine because, to be honest, it's actually a violation of the license agreement. Even uh, removing the time bomb on the with Tweak and T. But even if you want it. But it even but another good thing is it doesn't come with product activation. But yeah. But it works no problems in a virtual machine, but other than that, you can you have the ability to disable the time bomb so you can be able to use it for a very long time without it saying that the evaluation has expired. So I'd recommend trying out the evaluation and using it at your own risk. So, it's a little short demonstration or a long dis a good de of a good demonstration of Windows Embedded 2009 POS ready. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down and hope you enjoyed this little video. And thanks for watching.